Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great motion of well, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and Ababa Ball. Back at it with the Holy Spirit, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Lord, where this video is edifying. And uh, without further ado, we're just going to get right into it through the Spirit, man. All right, Jake, you're going to have to learn the hard way, Jake. Okay, and we say that because, you know, our people, they don't want to take heed to the message, man. You know, the Lord gives Jake time and time again to repent, you know, to do what's right in his sight. But then Jake wants to go back into the world. You know, when shit is sweet, that's when Jake want to forget Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, so now, okay, Jake, so since that's how you feel, that's what you want, well, you're going to have to pay for that, man. All right, yeah, matter of fact, I got a precept that comes to mind through the spirit. I'm going to go ahead and get this real quick. <clears throat> All right, because the Lord was pretty much pouring his heart out through the prophet Isaiah. You know, saying, like, look, I did all this for my people, and yet it was still not enough for them, man. Now, this is Isaiah chapter 5, starting at uh, verse 1. Now will I sing to my beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well-beloved hath a vineyard in, in a very fruitful hill. All right, so who is the Lord's vineyard? His vineyard is the nation of Israel. All right, it says... And he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein and he looked that it should bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes. All right, this is now, and now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard, what could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. So the Lord is saying, look, I did everything for Israel. You know, I hooked up Israel. You know, what could I, what more could I have done for Israel that I haven't done already for them? Pretty much what the Lord is saying. And he's saying the vineyard brought forth wild grapes, meaning that, you know, Israel was supposed to be people of fruitfulness and righteousness, so on and so forth. But we brought forth wickedness, man. You know, but it says what? And now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof and it shall be eaten up. And break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down. And that's the thing. The Lord, he took his blessing away from Israel. He took his protection away. You know, he took his anointing away from his people because, and look, we're going through the curses. We're in slavery, so on and so forth. Because why? Israel was being wicked. Israel was being rebellious. You see? It says, and I will waste it, and I will lay it waste, and it shall not be pruned nor dig, but there shall come up briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that it rain no, that it, that it, it's like a, that they rain no rain upon it. All right? It says, for the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel and the men of Judah his pleasant plant and he looked for judgment but behold oppression for for, for righteousness but behold a cry all right so that's the point of that right there man all right so the Lord is saying look I hooked my people up but you know they brought forth wickedness man and that's also another scripture in Deuteronomy Deuteronomy chapter 32 starting at verse 15 Ooh, man I start at verse um Deuteronomy 32, I'll start at verse uh, 8. When the Most High divided the nations to the divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So the Lord is saying, Look, all you other nations, you know, you can have whoever is over you, but me, my portion, my people is Israel. You see? He says, he found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As the eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, bear of them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. Yes, yeah, so the Lord saying, look, I'm the one who hooked you up. I'm the one who led you out of the wilderness, so on and so forth, right? Verse uh, 13, he made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the fields, and he made him to suck out the honey out of the rock, and oil out of the flinty rock. Butter of kine, and milk of sheep, with fat of lambs, and rams of the bread of Bashan. It says, and goats with the fat of kidneys of wheat, or kindness wheat. It says, and thou didst drink the pure blood of the grapes. So the Lord is saying, look, I'm giving you all this nice stuff. I'm, you know, Lord hooking Israel up, blessing them. But it says what? Verse 15, here's the point. But Jeshuron, which is another nickname for Israel, waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxing fat, thou art grown thick, 
that were covered with fatness. Then they forsook the power, the Most High, which made them, and lightly esteemed the rock of their salvation. So basically, the thing with Jake is when shit is sweet for Jake, that's when they want to forget the Most High, man. Right. You know, when Jake is living it up, they they in they murph, they good, they they up financially. You know, they forget about the Most High, man. That's right. That's why the scripture says, "Have received benefits, but." Have not known me. Ooh, that's a spirit, man. We'll right. get that scripture next, Lord willing. It says they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations provoked they to him to anger. You see, verse 17, they sacrificed unto devils, not to the most high, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that newly came up, that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. Of the rock that begat thee, thou art unmindful, and hast forgotten the power. The, forgotten the most high that formed thee so it says the rock that begat thee meaning the lord he's our rock you know but says look thou art unmindful jake don't jake don't call to mind the acts of the most high jake don't be thinking about the most high like that man you know it says they only want most of the time jake only want to think about the most high when you know they're going through something bad yeah. or you know they'll they'll probably think the most high for some folly like Oh, the Wadi Abash, or they don't even say that, but they say, oh, thank, thank the Lord, you know, it's my birthday today. <laughs> you know, thank the Lord, he got me out that jam. Yeah, right. Oh, the Lord gave me some crab legs. God is so good. You know, they be thanking the Lord for folly, man. All right. And um, it says, uh, and it ain't nothing wrong for, you know, being thankful to the Most High. He let you see another year, but it's the spirit that you come in, man. You know, it's not like you coming in that spirit on your on your birthday. It's not like you doing it to thank the Most High. You doing it for self glorification, really. All right. Now it says, and when the Lord saw it, He abhorred them because of the provoking of His sons and of His daughters. And He said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what the end shall be, for they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. Mm. They have moved me to jealousy. With that which is not God, therefore they have provoked me to anger with their vanity. That's right. Hey, uh, it said jealousy because Jay, dude, out here worshiping everything but the Most High. They in uh, Islam, they love the comedic, they love to everything but the Most High, man. Right. right. All right. It says, I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them with, I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. And I was talking about during the time when you had the Jews being provoked to jealousy. Because of the, uh, the the uncircumcised Israelite foreigners coming back into their lot, man. All right. So you know, nonetheless, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get that precept that the brother quoted through the Spirit. And the reason why I brought them scriptures is because look, the Most High, He hooked our people up, man. He hooked us up. He blessed us. You know, He hooked us up. But yeah, Jake forgot about the Yahweh Shai. Right. So that's why you gotta learn the hard way, Jake. Because you know, our people. I mean, Deuteronomy. Even though there is the curses there, but there's also blessings too. Right. You know, uh, so, but because we had went off, that's all we know about the curses. Call like Lamb Shai, 144. Call like Lamb Hey, but this is uh, 2 Ezra 9, starting at verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils. And shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. All right, and that's referring to the elect. The elect are, are going to have faith and works to back up their salvation through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. All right, and I'm going to continue verse nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Referring to two thirds, man. That's right. Verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits, like the brother mentioned earlier, and have not known me. That's right, you know. And you, you know, you see as you grow more in the truth that the most wicked, you know, Jakes, they like successful, they got shit. Yeah. You know, but what, what, they don't even, they thank the Lord, but they still do wicked stuff. Right. They thinking that they thinking the most high, but it's really in wickedness. You thinking the most high because you sold out, you got riches. You know, but but you really got that through wickedness, man. Right. You know, and it says, um, and what does it mean to know the Lord? It says, and have not known me. To know the Lord means to keep his commandments. Verse John 2 and 4. That's right. He that saith that he knoweth the most high and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. Verse 11. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty 
And when he gets a place of repentance, was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. So Jake, you gonna have to learn the hard way, man. Uh, hey, what, what verse was that? The last verse you read? Verse 12, the second half of 9 and 12. The same must know it after death by pain. Why would you show you read, uh, verse, uh, 11? Uh, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. So, oh, go ahead. Okay. No, go ahead. No, uh, so right now you got the time to repent. Right. What are you doing? You know, you, you're still doing the same things you're doing. You know, you're taking this period right now for granted. So what? The Lord, basically... You're so wicked that the Lord got to destroy you so you can become new. You know, Ooh. instead of just coming back to the Lord, uh, you know, and accepting, you know, your Hawaii Shemel Shah, you know, as the Almighty, you know, you got to be destroyed. The Lord got to destroy you by pain, man, right. so you can worship Him. And that's true. Because what? People easily worship what uh, is now. People easily worship all these things which are, you know, which are bullshit. Crime. But it's so for, it's so hard for our people to serve the Lord, so that's why you gotta be destroyed, right? Hey, and they said what? And when he's had a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Jake be despising the place of repentance open unto them, man, because the Lord he's putting the spirit on his men to reprove the people, and it says what they mocked the messengers of the Most High. That's right. Yeah, we went into slavery. Go ahead, go ahead. Now we made a uh, we made a video. Last week, our people think it's vain to serve the Lord. Right. Our people think it's vain to serve the Lord. And like the brother said, the Lord got to destroy you by death, by pain for you to get it. I got a precept to back the brother up. It's Isaiah chapter 6. And I'll start at uh, verse 9. And it reads, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes. Lest they see with their ear, with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Right. So Jake, Jake's eyes. You know, you can see the men of the Lord on the highways and byways, but you don't see spiritually what's going on. You can hear the men of the Lord, but you don't hear spiritually what's going on, man. Your eyes have been made fat, man. All right, because the Lord led you up to strong delusion because you didn't receive the love of the truth, man. All right. All right. Now it's verse eleven. Here's the point. Then said I. Lord, how long? So how long, Lord, how long is Jake going to be blinded? Right? It says, and he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. So Jake ain't going to get it till the missiles come, man. Mm, hey, can you go above Kashaw Proverbs, the first chapter? Con. How long you simple ones when you love simplicity? Yep. You know? Hey. Not only that, man, when these, when these troubling times do prevail and it comes... The Lord going to laugh at you, man. Y'all yep. think it's a game, man. The <laughs> Lord is telling you what he's about to do with you, but hey, you right. know, like the brother say, the Lord got, uh, he got, uh, he, he got the slumber. The, um, yep. He, he led you people up to a strong delusion, man. That's right. That's right. Strong delusion. Okay, now let me go ahead and read the scripture. This is Proverbs chapter 1, starting at verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. You know, that's what we that's what the Lord is asking through his men to his people. How long are you gonna love foolishness, man? You see? It's verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said it not all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. Lord saying, look, I, I called. I tried to give you the way, but you said that not my men. You didn't listen to the prophets. You know, I sent the prophets. You didn't hearken. So now what? You're going to have to die. That's right. Verse 25, it says, But ye have said that not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Brothers, like brother just said. That's right, man. So not only do you got to know death by pain to to receive this but when when all this tribulation and all this stuff is going on the lord is not even going to be thinking about you man because what when when he had his men on the highways and byways trying to make you come back unto him make you repent you basically shoot shoot them man yep. you shoot shoot the lord yep so it's going to be the same thing yep when you man, <laughs> can't even go into it you know because it's like a broken record but 
this is real though, man. Right. You know, but like the brother said, you guys are only gonna know when the missiles hit you, man. And in Salakia. Okay. Now, just to add to the brother, because you know, it may come off like a broken record. But so what? Because Jake will be more than ready to listen to a song that they like over and over and over and over and over and over again. So so what, man? And that's another thing that gonna show you the power of the most high's word that he didn't need to keep adding to it. What he said is what he said. That's right. And he don't need to keep adding to it. That's how powerful his word is. That's right. So, yeah, okay, it may seem like a broken record, but we, it wouldn't need to be a broken record if you didn't uh, hearken to it the first time you were sold. That's right. You know, so Jake be like, oh, you, do, you still saying the same thing. Da, 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 da. Okay, and <laughs> you'd be more than ready to listen to a song that you like over and over. So why not the word of the Lord, man? You know, right. you know, our people like to hear what uh, Jeremiah smooth, uh, prophesied smooth things. Yeah, that's I think that's Isaiah 30. Salakia, yeah, uh, Isaiah. Makan. You know, prophesied smooth things. You know, this word is what sharper than two, uh, sharper than two, two edged sword. That's right. You know, so that's why people would rather listen to a song multiple times than what hear that. Uh, the market piece is you know the market chip. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear the repent to your house by your side. Uh, all over and over again. You know why? Because you know, ultimately they're wicked. They rather choose darkness than light, rather right. than come back into the Most High. They rather just stay doing the same things that they're doing than what you know, being repenting. converted, repenting, and being converted by this word. Ooh. Matter of fact, we'll get that next, Lord willing. All right, this is um, I read that again, verse twenty-six. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. That's right. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. It says, but whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil, man. So hey, if you want to hearken unto the Lord, you're going to dwell safely. But if you want to hearken unto uh, wickedness and folly and not listen to the men of the Lord when they're trying to reprove you and correct you, then guess what, man? You're going to you're gonna go through that destruction. Because the scriptures say, he that hateth reproof shall die, man. Mm, All right. And like, like the brother <clears throat> said, lest they be converted and be healed. Hey, that's the same thing Yahweh Shai said, man. All right, now I'll get the scripture to back that up. All right, so all in all, Jake, you're going to have to learn the hard way. You're going to have to learn when Jacob's trouble pop off, when the missiles come, because you didn't want to take heed prior to that. Right. It's Matthew 13, starting at verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. It says, For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. That's right. So right now we have this truth, Lord willing, we continue in this thing. We're going to be giving even more abundance, man. The, all the perks and pleasures that come with the kingdom, you know, which is very abundant. You know, like Yahushua said, the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. Rough and paraphrasing, I am come that the sheep may have life more abundantly. You know, rough and paraphrasing, man. All right. But it says what? But whosoever hath not, meaning if you don't have this truth, you're going to be taking away all the stuff that you do have right now. Your car is going to be taken away. Your worldly possessions, all that is going to be gone, man. Because you weren't willing to give up your life for your house by Shemel Shah. That's right. So you're going to lose it. Like Scripture say, he that loses his life for my sake shall receive it. Rough and paraphrasing. That's right. He that loses his life, or he that keepeth his life, shall lose it. Oh. All right, verse 13. Therefore I speak I to them in parables, because they seen, see not, and hearing, they hear not. Neither do they understand. In them is, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their ears, with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. So you're not going to get it unless you truly come back to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. But the Lord is saying, look, the place of repentance is open unto them. You know, grace, the period of grace is open, but Jake despises it. That's right. So you're going to have to learn the hard way, man. That's right. And you know what's crazy? The Lord wants, like, so bad the nation of Israel, you know, to come back unto him. That's why in the scriptures, 
you know, it's uh, Isaiah 45. It says, seek the Lord while he still may be found. 55? Is it 55? Yes. Yeah, call you upon him while he is near. Call upon him while he is near, man. Because when that period is over, when the Lord says, oh, when the elect is sealed, you about to see what's really about to go on here, man. Right. And that's why I promise when it says, when you're full of, of um, the door will laugh at your calamity, man. Because it's really going to be that serious where, you know, you're going to cry, you know, help me out. And then no one's going to be able to save you, man. Right. Because you heard what was going to happen, you know, if, if you didn't come back to the Lord. But you chose to do what you wanted to do, man. Uh, I got to preach that. It's Isaiah 66 and verse 4. I will also, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Right. So the Lord said he's going to choose your delusions upon you, man. All your biggest fears, the Lord going to bring that upon you, man. Because you didn't, when he called, you didn't listen to him, man. Right. So now you got to pay. Hey, you go on the highway, uh, you know, the brothers be on the highways and byways. You, you hear a brother say, smoking weed is going off. But guess what? Jake will hear that. Leave from that, uh, leave from camp. What they do? Go smoke weed. Go sleep with another man's wife. Go eat some shrimp, crab, and lobster. You know, so you heard it, but you wanted to do what you decided to do. Right. That's right. And uh, you're going to have to learn the hard way, especially during the time of Jacob's Trouble when that famine hit, man. <laughs> Woo! That shit is going to fucking suck, man. <laughs> God. You know? And Lord willing, you know, most High protect us in them times, too. You know what I mean? But, hey, <laughs> we doing... And I'm not trying to exalt myself, nor, you know, the brother that's with me, but we doing what the Lord is requiring us to do, not saying we can't do better. I'll speak on my own behalf, not saying I can't do better, but, like, still, you know, the scripture says the righteous shall be scarcely saved, man. So uh, here it is, we doing what we're required to do, and we're going to be scarcely saved. So like I said, where shall the sinner and the ungodly appear then, man? If the righteous is barely making it, how much more are you wicked niggas, man? You ain't, ain't going to have no chance, man. You didn't want to return back to the Lord, man. But ultimately, this is the will of Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. But we just getting the blood off of our hands, man. You know? And let me get this real quick scripture real quick. We probably close up with this. Lord will. It's Isaiah 65 and verse 12. Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore, will I number you to the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear. But did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Right, so JB getting mad, you know, you call somebody's phone, they don't pick up the phone, and you know that they seen your phone call, man. Jake be getting mad about that shit. So how much more you how about Shamel Shah? Oh, that's a part right there, You know? Verse 13. Therefore thus saith the Lord, power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, and, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. So that's plain and simple. The Lord said, look, his servants, they're going to be good during the times of trouble. But ye, referring to the wicked of our people, you're going to be hungry, you're going to be thirsty, you're going to be ashamed, man. You see? So that's really the point. That's right, man. All right. Y'all going to have to learn the harder way. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know? The rest the shine. That's right, man. Hey, man. No, go ahead. Nah, nah, I'm just going to be singing this. Nah, I was just saying, anyway. instead of just going through what the straight, the straight, straight game, okay, yeah, y'all want to do it the hard way, man. And yep. just like Jake in the world, instead of what listening to what your people say, you know, you want to do what you want to do. So that's why the things that's going to happen got to happen. Call like my bunch of shots. It was off 4401 on that truck. But and that's another thing too. That's pride, man. Jake don't want to. Jake don't want to seek help. And understand that you're sick and you need help because you're prideful, man. You know, we know that we need help. We know we need your help. I'm shy, man. It takes humility to come back to serve the Lord. But since you're pride, you're going to be destroyed. Scripture says pride go up before destruction. And a haughty spirit before a fall, man. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rechak, Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, the great Muslim, the well, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel, Shalom, and above all.